So the question comes up often, can I cut my true cedar steel siding with power tools? The answer is yes, but with some stipulations. So what you see next to me here is a regular chop saw, but what's unique about it is we've got a metal cutting blade inside. So what that is, is it's a fine pitch tooth blade designed for cutting metal. Uh, you can tell that by on the blade, it'll say metal steel cutting blade. So this is the only type of metal cutting blade you can use. You don't want to use a blade and cut it and have the rotation going backwards. You need a metal cutting blade. Uh, one quick note about safety. Now we're going to want to wear gloves because the metal we're going to cut is going to get pretty sharp on the edges. We're going to want to also wear hearing protection. Now cutting metal is a little bit different than cutting plastic or wood. It tends to be quite a bit louder. We're also going to wear eye protection. Now I know this is annoying but it's very important. The metal chips are going to be shooting out of this blade and we want to protect our eyes. So we're going to want to wear eye protection when we're cutting metal. Let's cut some pieces. So a couple tricks or tips when cutting your metal siding. If you want to have good pressure down here on the metal to keep it from wanting to pop up or flutter or flip, we're going to want to not try to cut directly into the face of it. We're going to want to move back here to the side and run forward. Let's cut a piece. Another detail when you're going through metal is you want to watch your speed. You don't want to just shove the saw right down into it. You want the saw blade to do the work and put light pressure on it. So one of the most important things to note when you're using a power tool to cut your painted steel is you want to watch the edge here and you want to make sure that you've got a good sharp blade throughout the job when the blade starts to dull, you'll get heavy burring and you'll get burning or burnishing of the paint. So what that is, is you're overheating your cut area and you're compromising the paint. 